10 minutes. So let's go. All right, so OET writing, participle clauses. Um, guys, can you see my document today? I'll just share my screen. You should hopefully be able to see something saying OET writing with three yes. things on there. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Alexandra, can you start us off with, um, just to keep me honest, what, what are we trying to do today? Just walk me through the plan. We introduce, we introduce the participle clauses. Yep. So I'll, I'll, I'll do like a general introduction to participle clauses mm -hmm. and then? Then we talk about the different types of participle clauses. Good. I'll give you guys a diagram and number and three. Then we write some examples of sentences. Good. Good. Thank you very much. Thanks for that, Alexandra. And just a quick note, um, I'll talk at the end about the study document at the end. Um, I will discuss Friday's study document. Okay. I'll talk about that at the end of the class. All right, so let's get started then. So um, this part of the class can be very interactive. So that means if I say your name, be ready to put on your microphone, have a chat with me. It doesn't matter if you don't know the answer, I'll always help you to get the answer. Um, let's start off with, um, I'm gonna keep Alexandra on actually. Alexandra, is it okay yeah. to come back? Because, <laughs> do you recognize this? Yes. Okay, so don't tell them, Alexandra. So, guys, this is Alexandra's um, paragraph from last week, okay? Don't tell them, okay? Now, I'm going to ask Dinashri. Dinashri, are you there? If you could put your microphone on, we'll have Dinashri, we'll have Bindia as well. Dinashri and Bindia. Um, hi, Alan. Hello. So, do you, can you see the relative clause here, right? Not participle clause, but where's, can you see any relative clauses you all should know a, what a relative clause is so where is the, where, where is that where are the relative clauses go on we've got i guess this is kind of a relative clause isn't it that's one yeah and there's one more Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So that's what's called a relative clause. It's good to contrast that with um, a participle clause. So I'm just going to ask um, Key and Han, Rafaela, where are the, where's the participle clause here? Having experienced persistent symptoms. Yeah, thank you very, very much. I'll put that one in red. That is a participle clause. Okay. So um, we've got the relative clauses, they are under, they are underlined, okay. Where is the, where is the participle clause? It's in red, okay. Now, um, what's the difference? I thought it's always a nice and, and quite a difficult question as well to start off with contrasting these two things. So Krina and Neshka, could you put your microphones on? Yeah. Yeah. What's the difference between um, a relative clause and a participle clause, right? Clause it, yeah, gives, go on, Neshka. Gives extra information about the main clause. Uh, participle clause just is stop, the, just, just stop with that one. So we'll just we'll just we'll just do that one. So a relative clause gives what? Extra information about the main clause. Okay, so a relative clause gives extra information. Okay, Karina, could you give me? Karina, are you there? Yes. Yeah. So the relative clause here, Neshka is yeah. saying that this is giving extra information about what? About the um, main. The main the, uh, sentence. So is it this one or or this one? Wh wh which one? About investigation. About right. Yes, yeah, this because it gives about the main about another clause or it can be uh, another word. Okay, in a clause. Right. Um, so in another way, I, I like to think of them as kind of like describing. They describe. Don't you agree, Neshka? Yeah. They describe things like you can make very silly ones. Like I always say, I like pizza. I like hot pizza. Right. What, what type of word is hot? Everyone? Hot adjective. is a... Adjective. Good. And what do adjectives do? Describe. Describe. Now, okay. now, now I can make a I, I can make a relative clause as well. I can say I like pizza, Neshka. Which, which is delicious. Which is delicious, yeah. yeah. Or that is which or that is. I can also just say that is hot, right? 
So relative clauses describe other clauses, but what do participle clauses do? The participle clause allows us to use our information more in a more economical way. Um, okay, so participle, yeah, yeah, to, to use the information in a, in a more economical way. So you're saying like almost like summarizing. Yeah. I would agree. Good. Let me just ask someone else, though. I'm going to ask someone in this class who I haven't spoken to, Emma. Yeah. <laughs> Emma, a participle clause, you can see it in red here. Yeah. Right. What, um, what does that do? It's not, is it describing things? Uh, no describing things. Yeah. What does it do here? It's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Tell, uh, tell us something. Uh, Set the scenery. Sets the scene. I like that. It almost like gives us, well, you, you're on the right track, whoever said that. An idea. Well, how many, how many things are happening here? We've got this one and we've got this. Are, are they separate ideas? They are. They're two separate yeah, yeah, things, yeah. right? So participle clauses show a connection. Between. Between what? Interactions. Yeah, between two events or states mm -hmm. show a connection between two events or states. Okay. For example, here's a very easy one. Gabriella, are you there? Gabriella, if you just put your microphone on. Yes, I am. Teaching a class. Okay. Comma. Alan drank coffee. All right. What's the mm. relationship between these two these two things? Thanks, guys. But I just want Gabriella. Gabriella? It's uh, what is there are two things, what he is doing them at the same time. It shows a connection. Yeah. Uh, and it's that same time, right? Here, it's same time. So, one type of participle clause, microphone's off, please, right? One type is same time, all right? But there's actually more than one um, connection. Right. There's different types of connections. Like, what if I said something like, um, "The car crashed, killing two people." Is that happening at the same time? No. No. Okay, let me just ask Barry. Barry, put your microphone on if that's okay. Barry, Barry, and Bindia. Oh yes. Yeah. Um, hey. The car. The car crashed, killing two people. I know it's a horrible sentence. Sorry. Um, but it's a good one to get the idea of the meaning. The car crashed, killing two people. What is the connection between the two events? Reason, cause. Just Barry and Bindia? Um. Come on, you can see it. Look, killing two people. Why did two people die? Because of the car crash. Because of the crash. People might have been... So it's the... The killing is the result. What? It's the result. result. Killing is the right? result. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's the car crash. This is what participle clauses do, guys. They show connections between two different events. Okay. So I'll put that again. Connections between two different events. Now, I think there are five types, right? I think there could be more, though. I think there are five main types of participle clauses okay and i'm going to show them to you now okay one of them will be same time one of them will be results people like key han Raphael, people who know about relative clauses what are the other types we've got results we've got same time do you guys know han mm -hmm. maybe or, or after Nishka? reason one event what? after another one, one after another anything else uh, one event immediately after Okay, good. And anything else? Um, Han? Just Han, uh, Han, let me. There's one more. Han, do you remember it? Cause. Key? No, that would be results. Okay, you could think of it like a cause. Han, are you there? No? Key? <laughs> They've left me. <laughs> I <Okay>. don't know. <laughs> ah, right. Okay. Oh, this is good. Okay. So, um, what if I said, being a doctor, I treat a lot of sick people? Passive. It's passive. Reason. Reason. Okay. It's like, um, yeah, it's like a, the reason, okay, which is slightly different from results. Okay, I'll talk about mm -hmm. this in a second. Um, it's, it's not just different in the it's sense a of a concept. 
Yeah, sorry? A situation. Well, it's, it's actually a grammar thing. You'll see that the grammar actually changes. You'll see, okay? So these are the five different types of participle clauses. Results, reason, same time, one after another, okay? Let me give you a quick example again. And you guys, you can shout out now. We can have a bit of messiness. Um, yes. if, if I say, um, if I say um, watching a movie, um, he did his homework. Same What's time. That? Same time. Oh, you can all <laughs> shout out, guys. That's same time, isn't same it, time. right? Mm -hmm. What if I said, um, um, the, the, plane, mm -hmm. the plane crashed, destroying the building? Results. Results. That's results. Good. What, now, what if I said, um, being lonely, um, I, um, he tried to reason. make reason. friends. Reason. Okay. Reason. Good. What about if I said, um, opening the door, he saw a man. One event immediately one after. after. So, one after another. Immediately after. That one. Immediately. What, about, okay. <laughs> what about if I said, um, having opened the door, he one saw after a man. One after, one after, one after, one after, one after another. another. <laughs> now, I know we're going very fast. Don't worry. There's going to be a diagram to show you this if, you don't, if you're not sure. Okay, don't worry. Okay. Here is a diagram and we're going to go very slowly now. All right. I was, I was just testing. So... Microphones off, please. If I could just all have microphones off. I'm just going to ask Mittal. Mittal, can you put your microphone off? Yeah. Yes. Sir. If I say watching TV on Monday, Mr. Green, so this is more like OET style sentences we've got now, okay? So obviously this is an OET class. Watching TV on Monday, Mr. Green called his mother. Imagine he's in the hospital. And uh, Mittal, um, what's the meaning of that one? Mr. Green was watching television during that period of time. He called his mother. So the connection is, remember same we said it's the same, same time. time. Yeah, same so time. Two, two events happening okay. at the same, same time. time. And let's look at the grammar of this, Mittal, as well, right? We've got ing here, yeah. right? And then do we have any verbs here? No, right? There's no verbs, right? So plus, it's usually just nouns or prepositions, okay? Does that make sense? Does that make sense, Mittal? Preposition on. In this clause, I cannot yes. have verbs. I can only have nouns and prepositions, like preposition. watching TV on Monday. Give me another preposition, Mittal. No, any preposition. How about with? Right? With? His brother. His, his, his brother, his... right? What type of word is brother? Noun. What type of word is with? Preposition. Preposition. Right? How about I say at 9 p.m.? Okay, what type of word is at? Preposition. Preposition. Right. Preposition. And I guess you can kind of think of this as like a noun, right? No. Okay. You can have adjectives as well. I guess this is a possessive adjective, adjective. But you get the idea, right? There's no, it's not a normal type of sentence. Okay. Then we have a comma, Mittal. And then what comes next? Plus. Plus. Mr. Object. Object. It, is it the object? Mr. Green is the object? Sorry, subject. Subject, and the verb is? Called his verb. Verb. It's just verb. normal subject, or verb, subject. Object. object. Okay. So the participle clause has a strange structure. It's a bit different. But then the second one, the second clause, has a normal subject, verb, object. Okay. Now, let's try another one. Thank you, Mittal. Uh, opening the envelope, he read the referral letter. Let me ask... Um, Karina, if you're there, or Manuela, yeah. opening the envelope, he read yeah. the referral letter. I think it's one event after another. Yeah, but um, remember that we've we got two, we, we yeah, got two after. Yeah. Immediate after. Yeah, right. Okay. So what does immediately mean, though? Let me just ask that question to Barry, uh, not Barry, um, Comfort. Comfort, are you there? Yes, I'm here. If I say immediately, what does that mean? At the, at the like same a, time. Oh, it's almost the same time. Almost, almost. yeah. But, but like um, very quickly, quickly right after. Yeah. Like, I know this is very simple, but I may as well do this so you can all see. Can you all see me? Yeah. I, I, can't, yes. see my, I can't see myself. Right, so look, if I go, I don't know, if I, if I go... Um, Right. Those microphones off, please, whoever that is. We can hear you again. Excuse me. 
whoever's got their microphone on, we can hear what's going on inside your house. Okay, so please don't do that. All right. So look, if I throw the pen up in the air and I catch it, two events. Immediately. After. Immediately. One is immediately. immediately. Yeah, exactly. So that's the idea. Very quickly, very fast. One event call, uh, follows the other event, right? You open the envelope, then you read the referral letter. Now, comfort. We've got again ing, right? And then what? What type of word is envelope? Noun. Noun. Right. Again, you can have nouns. You can have prepositions. Yeah, no. Okay. Yeah. Then you're going to have your comma, right? And then comfort. We're going to have subject. Subject. Verb. What, what's verb. the verb? Read. 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 And everyone together, the object is? Referral letter. 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 Or whatever you want, however you want to think about it. Thank you very much. Microphone off. So one event immediately after another. Thank you very much. Let me ask someone I haven't asked. We'll ask Val. This one, having opened the envelope, he read the letter. He read the referral letter. Okay, Val, what? give me the form again. We've got, we don't have ING here, do we? Yes, having. We, we do, but it, it's always having, right? It's not any ing. It's having plus what's this? We've got a verb. Verb. Object. What type of verb is that, Val? Is that verb one, two, or three? Three. Three. It, it's verb three, right? You can think it's almost like present perfect, but with ing. It's very strange. Okay. So having. So if it was eat, Val, what would you say? Ha having. Eight. Eaten. Uh, having eaten, eaten right? Oh, eaten, sorry. It's yeah. victory, right? Eaten. Exactly. So you might say, having eaten the sandwich, he felt yeah. sick, yeah. right? So having opened the envelope, right? Right. What's coming next? Um, subject, right? Subject, is it? Verb. 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 Object. Just a, just a object. normal clause, yeah, with subject, verb, object. Good. Now, what's the meaning, Val? I think you know. Is it one event immediately after another? Yes, it or, or immediately or one one after another. It's just one after another, right? There's no immediate, right? Right. So you might say. Um, I don't know, having visited Manchester, okay? Right. Uh, Val then visited London, okay? Yeah, one and one. That's not happening immediately. It takes a long time to go from Manchester to London, right? It's just one event after the other, not, not immediate. Does that make sense? Yes, I have a good example, Alan. Yeah, go on. After be fluent in English, I can get my pin nurse. Yeah, so having ha having um, passed the uh, exam. In my, having passed in my exam. Then sub subject, verb, object. <laughs> having passed I, my exam, I. I. Started. I started. Well, I started nursing. nursing. Yeah, I started nursing or whatever. I started at the hospital or something. Yeah, you got the idea. And I'm going to give you another example in a second. Thank you very much for that, Val. Um, yeah. A car crashed, injuring Mrs. Green's left shoulder. Let's get Sarah, if she's there, or Gizem. Yeah, okay. two events happening at the same time. Ooh, I know, I know what you mean. Because some of these, you know, these seem similar, don't they? But it's not this really two events. I think it's result. the result. Yeah, it's the result. Okay. Reason. Now, let me just get that. Who, Gizem, are you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. It's very important, this. Okay. Which one is the result? Which clause? Uh, it's the second one. Injuring. Sec uh, second, second clause, right? So the okay. ING clause is the result. Okay, I want to emphasize that to you all. Microphones off, please. Notice that this one is the result. Okay, just pay attention because later on that's going to be important. All right, so let's just get some form. So microphones off, Bianca, if you're there. Bianca and N Nilima. Yes. So a car crash, that would be subject and what's here? It's just a verb, isn't it? Subject oh, and yeah. verb. Okay. This is the normal clause, isn't it? It's not a participle clause, right? Yeah. So what what comes next? Ing. 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 Plus plus subject. Subject. Uh, no, right? Uh, I mean, it is 
I understand that you're thinking it is a kind of a subject, but my point ah. is there's no subject to verb object here, right? Mm -hmm. It's just like this. Look, ing, nouns and, preposition, and ah. prepositions. So I can have a noun or I can have a preposition, right? I'm, I'm simplifying it, but does that make sense? Look, I can say <laughs> on, give me a noun, on. On his back. His back. Waterway. Uh, well, no, on when, not his back, because it's his shoulder, right? So we could say on Wednesday, well, on, oh, <laughs> on Wednesday. <laughs> I can't even pronounce Wednesday today. But do you get the point here? Look, I've got I, yeah. I can have an ing plus nouns and prepositions. Yeah. I'm not going to have subjects and verbs, okay? So I could say a car crashed. I could say causing, right? That's an ing, yeah. right? Give me a noun, guys. Causing... Pain. Pain, is that a noun? Yeah, good. And then I can use a preposition, in. His, Causing pain in. In his lab. In his lab. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So we're not having subject, verb, object. We're just having nouns and prepositions. Um, and, preposition. and also, what type of word is this, Han? What would you call that? Han or... or... Possessive. 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 I think it's an adjective here. Usually it would be a pronoun, but because it's this, oh, yeah. right? it's like a pos it's like a possessive <laughs> adjective. Okay. okay, so microphone's off. Thank you very much for that. Um, I'll just take this back to how it was. Okay, so that's the result. Okay, last one. Let's get Neshka in for this. Mm -hmm. So what's the difference between a re... Well, t tell me, what's this one? This one's reason, isn't it? Reason. Reason for for the for something. Yeah. Okay. What's the difference between that one and the result? It's just because of he because of being a doctor. He is a doctor. He works a lot. It yeah, means... it's the reason. But I think it, it, look at this one, Neska. In this in this one, there is just ing. Ing is the is the result here, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But in this one, ing is the what? The reason. The reason. But it's it's like it's like causing, it's, um, isn't it? Capable. Yeah. Capability. Right? Yeah, it's but it but it you see here that the ing clause is causing the the effect. You see what I mean? Yeah. But in this one, the ing clause is it's the effect. Yeah. You see the difference, guys? So here, yeah. this is the reason for something. But the but notice the ing clause is a bit like a clause, a, a cause, okay? Not the result. What's, could you just, Nesca, could you just analyze this for me? So we've got ING. ING. Oops, yeah, it's a bit big. Yeah, plus. Plus <clears throat> subject. Uh, nope. Noun. Noun. It's just nouns and, and prepositions. Sub subject, okay. verb. Comma, Comma, right? Subject, verb. And then subject, verb, object, yes. Where's the subject here? Key. That's good. Good. I'll just I'll just make that clear for everyone. All right. So quickly, does anyone have any questions? Just just quickly before I move, I'm gonna just yes. okay. give, you, I'll give you more examples. Yeah. Go on. So that means the I engine always goes with nouns and preposition. In a participle clause, right? In a participle, yeah. You're kind of like I'm, I'm simplifying this, okay? But you're kind of like going, like say we take eating, right? Yeah. And now um, I can have a I can have a noun or a preposition or a possessive pronoun, right? A possessive adjective. So I could say eating a. Give me a noun, Jasmine. Um, banana. A banana. Banana. Okay, so eating a banana, <laughs> and I could say e eating a banana. <laughs> what? I watch TV. Jasmine, just <laughs> excuse me. Can we have microphones off, please? Jasmine. Okay. Right. So yes. eating a banana. Give me a preposition. How about in? In my right. room. In my room. Okay. And how about with? With who were you with? My with my with with my friend or with my sister. With my sister. Okay. Yes. Do you see what I'm doing? This is my participle clause, and there's no really no verbs there. It's just nouns and prepositions. Yeah. Okay. Like what? What day did you? We've got another preposition, right? On Monday. On Monday. Okay, so eating banana in my room with my sister on Monday, I did some homework. I yeah, or oh, you tell me, I did, I... I went, 
a movie. I watched a movie, right? So are you doing these at the same time? Yes. Yeah, yeah. that's it, right? So that's all I mean by a participle clause, okay? Great question mm -hmm. there, Jasmine. Thank you very much. I'll take one more because we've not finished, but I'll take one more if anyone's a little bit confused about anything. Yeah. Yes, Keith? Uh, sorry. Um, uh, regarding the four, the four example, like mm -hmm. resulting, I just yeah. wonder, can I say like um, being crushed by a car, Mr. Green's left shoulder was injured. So is it result? Yeah, or well... Well, this is because you're think of the grammar, you would be using the reason kind of form, right? Oh. It, it actually sounds OK, but the only thing to remember, Key, is that, look, in this one, that's the effect, isn't it? That's the effect. But in this one, that's the cause. That's oh. it. That's, all, that's the only point I'm okay. making, really. Okay. Usually okay. we talk we talk about reasons here, but you could also your, your example is a good one. That, that makes sense to me. OK, okay. now I'm going to test. We'll do a quick test. So I'm going to ask for. Um, Danashri, if she's there, or Jong, are you guys, could you put your microphones on? Danashri or Jong? Oh, no, that's a shame. Okay, um, let me ask um, Jasmine. No, sorry, we just had Jasmine. Let me ask uh, Manisha. Manisha, are you there? Yes. So here. look, we're going to do the simple one. So I'm going to, I want you to make me a participle clause with this, right? It's um, the same as this one. Could you say it? First one? Yeah, look, we could we could say cooking dinner, right? Cooking dinner. Mr. Green also listening to radio. Yeah, Mr. Green was also listening to the radio. Good. Yeah. Right? To the radio. Now remember I can I can I can make this longer if I want. Right? Give me a preposition. Cooking dinner in in where is in he? Kitchen. In kitchen. Kitchen. Yeah, right. Mr. Green was also listening to the radio. Great. Okay, so we've mm -hmm. got an example sentence. Thank you very much, Manisha. Let me ask one more person. Let me ask okay. Ling if she's there. Ling? Yes. Okay, I'm just going to change this to, to green. Ling, second one. Open door, see friend. All right. Look at the... Opening, yeah, opening open. the door. Good. She... She will see her friend. Okay, so do we want the future tense? We don't need to have the future tense because we know that it's already after, right? Yes, yeah, she, she, her friend. We just say she saw. saw. She saw, she yeah. saw. Yeah. right? Because it's a participle clause, we already know that one thing happens after the other one, okay? So you don't need to use the will. So opening the door, she saw her friend. Very nice, okay? Can you make it a bit longer, though? Opening the door, give me a preposition. Opening the door uh, in her house. In her house, yeah. Okay. At what time? At, at oh. 7 p.m. How about we'll make it more dramatic at night? Right? She saw her friend. Who, she saw a man. In the mm. <laughs> okay, so you, you, you get the point anyway, right? You can, you, you can, terrible man. yeah, exactly. We can make it really scary, but the point <laughs> is, guys, you can, you know, um, you can build your participle clause, you can make it bigger if you want, all right? Yeah. Okay, so microphones on, uh, off. Sorry, uh, let me ask who have I not spoken too much? How about Ramona or Rija if you're there, Rija as well? Yes, Ramona, or Rija, okay, so give me what about. Ramona, give me this this next one, okay? Number three. Don finished the essay, ate dinner. What would you say there? Oops, I don't want done. Let's just have finished. finished. Mm. Look at the structure here, right? Having finished. put. Is, Ramona? Is, yes, finishing the essay. You could do that one, but then you'd be starting with ing here. But I want you to say ha having, having finished. Yes. Having, Having finished the essay. The essay. Um, I Subject. Ate, yeah, I. I ate the dinner. Yeah, you know the. You can just say dinner. Um, give me, a, give me a preposition. Having finished the the essay. What was it about? About history. So you could say on history, right, mm -hmm. or about history. I ate dinner. Okay. So is this one happening immediately after the other one, Ramona? 
What's the time between the two events? It's not immediate, yeah? After the other one? Yeah, but it's not immediate, is it? No. What does immediate mean? After the... Uh, what does immediate mean, guys? Come on, I asked this to comfort as well. You all know, it, it's something like... Quickly, the same right? Time. Quickly. It's it's like quickly, it's yeah. So obviously, when you finish your when you finish your essay, right? You're not going to eat dinner immediately afterwards. You're going to have to cook your dinner, right? Or do or maybe sit down to the table or something. Okay. Thank you very very much for that. Microphone off. Um, Rija, are you there? Rija and Anna. Um. Okay. So. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Jasmine has a question quickly, and then I'll then I'll get read. You. Yes, can you use for in like preposition? Let's say having finished the essay for my OET exams, I ate dinner. Yeah, you can use any preposition you want for okay. my OET exams. Yeah, I ate dinner, and what? <laughs> <laughs> I what? What do you do after your exams, guys? Do you don't you sleep? I went to sleep for yeah. many hours. <laughs> Because you're so tired. Apparently, you get really tired on those days. Okay, thank you very much. So, um, Rija, go on. Microphone yes. uh, off, Jasmine. So now we've got the result one. You've got the example here. All right. Could you give me a sentence? So. Falling. Well, if we look at this clause here, it's just mm. normal subject verb, right? Uh, so. A tree fell. A, a tree, yeah. And fell. past tense fell. Yeah, good. A tree fell. On his leg. On his leg, comma. Leg. Leg. Oh. Let's just, we, we don't need leg, breaking. right? Why, why don't yeah. we just say him, right? A tree fell yeah. on him, Break. breaking his left leg. His left okay. leg, okay. Again, um, Rija, we can put in more prepositions if we want. So a tree fell on him. Fell, um, fell not feel. A tree fell. fell. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, my spelling. So a tree fell on him in what time? Region. The evening. The evening. Okay, breaking his left leg. Or you could say, you could even say when here, actually, but I won't go into that because that would be a relative. A tree fell on him when he was. Ooh, you can put in relative clauses, but I'm not going to go that, uh, into that. So thank you very much, reader. That's excellent. Last one being a doctor. Has anyone not spoken yet? Co um, Christina, I haven't spoken to you. You can do this, Christina, right? Easy. <laughs> So, are you a nurse, Christina? Yes, I am. So, being a nurse, you could say this about yourself. Being a nurse um, means you have to offer care and support. I, if you want to have that, yeah, means you have to offer care and support. I like that, right? That's quite. Your your this clause is a bit more complex, but I like it. Very very nice. Being nurse or being good nurse. We need a nurse. Good. And I was just about to say, Karina, like, let's say being a nurse at, not sat at, right? Preposition at where? Hospital. The hospital. Hospital. At a, bi a big hospital, right? A big hospital. A tertiary hospital. Yes. Um, a, a what hospital? A tertiary. tertiary. Tertiary hospital. There you go, right? You can keep building. Being a nurse at a tertiary hospital in June, right? What, you, um, anyway, I'll, I'll leave it there. You could keep building and building and building if you want, all right? But I've given you now five examples, all right? Let me just do another quick test. I'm going to say a sentence and you tell me, is it number one, is it number two, or is it number three, number four, or number five, right? What about if I say, um, walking to the hospital, I saw my friend. Number three. Another one. Walking to the hospital, I saw my friend. Number two. Uh, it, might be, two. it might be two, yeah, it might be two, yeah. Or it could be even be one. It could be one even as well. And what about if I said um the 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 bicycle crashed um harming my mother? Result. Number, Result. Four. 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 Uh, Result. Number four. Number four. Well, what about if I said, um, you know, being a kind and generous man, um, I always give five. money to charity. Number five. 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 Uh, good. Reason. Reason. Number five. 
Good. And what about if I said, nice. um, you know, um, this is this is true for me last night. Watching TV, he marked the essays, the letters. The one. 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 No, not true, not true, not true. Just what? kidding. Um, and the last one is number three. Having opened the envelope, I'll just put this here. Now, I'm, I'm going to stop talking because, well, I'll take one. No, I'm not even going to take any questions, right? I've got something a little bit more challenging now for I want all of you to do, okay? I'm going to show you five. I want you to make me five sentences, OET style sentences, all right? And it's a bit more difficult than this. All right, so let me just show you now. Microphones off, please. All right, and I'm going to say goodbye to the people on Facebook. Okay, thank you for watching people on Facebook. Hopefully, it was useful.